It says Carmelo Anthony thinks LeBron James cares more than Michael Jordan about being the GOAT. So Carmelo Anthony did an interview. Anthony responded to the question of who he believes care more about being the greatest player of all time on a podcast. He says, I think Mike did it already. So Mike is the target. But then you have a young man who's coming along who understands GOAT status. GOAT status is what I'm coming for. The same way MJ was talking about coming for those 11 rings, Anthony says. He goes on to say, James is inspired by Jordan's legacy more over. Anthony believes the longtime superstar understands his accolades get him in the conversation with Jordan. When you think about accolades, you don't mention the accolades that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has gotten. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was already at the top of the all-time scoring list. Will Chamberlain still has the 100-point game. Will Chamberlain has rebound records that no other player will ever break. Will Chamberlain literally averaged like what? Like 45 points per game? 54 points per game players will never break those records but have you ever heard anybody say that will chamberlain is a better player than michael jordan kareem got more rings than jordan so you can have all the accolades it doesn't matter but he finishes by saying so i'm going on a journey of being great and through that journey there's going to be a point in time where if i do what i have to do i will be in that conversation with my idol lebron james catching michael jordan is the least of mj worries michael jordan is worried about golfing He's more worried about how much money he won gambling. For all my Wire lovers, if you're not familiar with the show The Wire, based out of Baltimore, I suggest you guys go watch it. But there's a famous quote by one of the greatest characters named Omar Little, played by the late, great Michael K. Williams. And this is Michael Jordan's approach to LeBron. Omar told the guy, he said, worrying about you. It's like, it's like worrying about if the sun going to come up. Don't nobody worry if the sun going to come up in the morning. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant and the greats, they ain't worried about LeBron James trying to catch them because they know he never will. That's why he got to keep standing around and trying to break all these records. That's why he got to win in-season tournaments so he could change the argument. Michael Jordan never won an in-season tournament cup. LeBron James is still trying to stay around. He won't retire because he's too afraid that people are going to forget about him. He doesn't have any real people in his circle to tell him, hey, LeBron, like, walk away. He got everybody stroking his ego. LeBron James' career was manufactured by the machine, by the elites, by the ESPNs of the world. So if you remove LeBron James from the game, you also remove those constant talking points every single day that being programmed in your head. No, Carmelo Anthony, you're actually wrong on this one. LeBron James does not just care about being the GOAT. LeBron James is obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with being the GOAT. He's infatuated with the idea of being the GOAT over Michael Jordan. In fact, Stephen A. Smith, the guy with the pushback hairline, his hair is running away from his head. Even his own hair is telling him it's time to let it go. Even his own hairline is telling him it's time to set me free. It's time to set me free. It's time to set me free. His hair is doing the Shikari Richardson. It want to run away. Run. 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 It's doing a Shikari Richardson. It's running away. Running away from his head. It's almost like he could just pull off the rest of it and it'll just slide off. But Stephen A. Smith has stated that LeBron James business partner Rich Paul and approach Stephen A. Smith because he was upset at the fact that Stephen A. Smith had rank LeBron James below Michael Jordan. Now, in my opinion, LeBron James doesn't even crack the top five. LeBron James isn't in my top 10. You ask what my top 10 is, you say? My top 10 is Michael Jordan, Kobe Bean Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Hakeem Olajuwon. Shaquille O'Neal, Stephen Curry, and there's plenty other players that I can swap out from number 10 on down. But LeBron James has too many cracks in his armor. There's too many asterisks by his records. LeBron James has choked. He has quit in big pivotal moments time and time again.
LeBron James is obsessed with being the GOAT. That's why he's trying to control the narrative by breaking all the records. He thinks that it's about the stats. And LeBron James' delusional brain, that gives him a edge in the GOAT debate. But what LeBron James fails to realize is that Michael Jordan accomplished everything that LeBron James is fighting for. Everything that LeBron James is still playing for. Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan accomplished that in fewer years and they did it with less. They did it in less time and they did it with less. LeBron James has had more throughout his career and he underachieved. But according to the mainstream sports media, LeBron James, he overachieved. LeBron James has had far more super teams, far more talent than Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. LeBron James has played on multiple super teams, has played with Dwayne Wade, who was already a former finals MVP, who had already won a RBA finals. He had a ring already. He was already established as a player. He already defeated Dallas. LeBron James lost to Dallas. That's another thing people don't speak about. Dwayne Wade, he was younger than LeBron James when he reached the RBA finals. You didn't see Dwayne Wade choke. You didn't see Dwayne Wade get embarrassed and put up low numbers like LeBron James did when he played Dallas. And LeBron James was older and he had more talent. Make that make sense. So when Dwayne Wade won with Shaquille O'Neal, who was far past his prime, and it wasn't the Shaq who dominated in Orlando and carried Orlando to the finals. This wasn't the Shaquille O'Neal who dominated with the Los Angeles Lakers, who was one of the most dominant big men in the world. He didn't get that Shaq. He got the fat and out of shape Shaq. He got sumo Shaq. Dwayne Wade defeated Dallas, being the best player on the team. LeBron James, on the other hand, he's playing alongside one of the best players who already won already. He plays Dallas and had one of the worst performances in RBA history. So you can't compare LeBron James to Michael Jordan. He's had multiple All-Stars. Remember the decision. He quit on the Cleveland Cavaliers and went to Miami. He quit in Miami, then went back to Cleveland and formed a super team with a young Kyrie Irving, one of the greatest ball handlers the game has ever seen. Greatest handles. Kevin Love, who was a rebounding machine, had a stacked bench, only was able to get one title because the RBA cheated for him. And they suspended Draymond Green. And J.R. Smith, he purposely injured Andrew Bogan. He's supposed to be so great, but he can't defeat a team with Kevin Durant. He can't defeat the Warriors, who aren't great closers, can choke a 3-1 lead, both of them, because Kevin Durant choked in OKC. He blew a 3-1 lead. Steph Curry blew a 3-1 lead. So if you got Kyrie Irving and you got LeBron James, if LeBron James at least limit Kevin Durant from being half of what he is, and you get Kyrie Irving and lock up Steph Curry, now all you got to worry about is Klay Thompson and Draymond Green, right? Oh, okay. So he only wins one championship for Cleveland, for the land. Then he goes to the Lakers, and now all he has to show for being with the Lakers is a bubble title and an AAU banner, an in-season tournament. And when you compare him to Kobe, in two championships, forget the three championships, Stephen A. Smith. See, this is a conversation when we're talking about Kobe. Forget those three championships. Y'all say he had Shaq? Okay, cool. Let's talk about those two championships. Beat the most 60-win teams. He came out the West. He won two championships without another top 75 player. Not to mention, he defeated the very first quote-unquote super team in the Boston Celtics. And guess what? He defeated both of the teams that came out the East that LeBron James lost to. LeBron James had already advanced to the RBA Finals in 2007. So you telling me he couldn't defeat the Orlando Magic and they was inexperienced? They ain't never been to the Finals? But LeBron James has? And he had a 66-win season? So yes, LeBron James cares more about the GOAT debate because he's chasing exactly what he said he's chasing, a ghost. And you'll never be able to catch a ghost. Never. Kobe is really a ghost. You're never going to catch Kobe.